everybody. Uh, JP here. Uh, been a while since I've done a video. Um, took a little time for this to come in, but it, it I mean, it was about two weeks, but I've just been really busy. And um, so I had ordered a, I call it the Vision, but they have numbers on AliExpress. Um, I think they have the same saber on. Uh, Dark Wolf Sabers, I believe, carries it. They're probably Rebel. I don't know if Rebel Sabers carries it. Um, let's see. Different places. Fire Sabers, I think, does carry it, maybe. If not, you can probably get the bottom part. And he has uh, the modular parts you can pick from Fire Sabers, which is pretty cool. A lot of people like Fire, fire Sabers for that. Um, this particular saber comes with a coupler. Uh, as the pommel um, and I did a video on one that I had I think uh, before there's one that I that I ordered empty oh, excuse me it's one I ordered empty and built uh, from all I bought all parts uh, separately like the proppy board there's a big shortage now everybody knows um, so it's really hard to find proppies um, so this is the hilt that I ordered the full package profi with blade I think it was just under I think it was 190 something maybe might have even been 180 something um, but it's really cheap it's, it's I mean it's a good deal for what you're getting so anybody looking for this go to Aliexpress I, I bought from LGT store um, and I will just tell everybody right now that when you order from them um, or other places on Ally. Lately, what they've been doing is if Ally gives them eight days to ship before you can, you know, automatically refund it, they're going to take the eight days. Uh, I've experienced that with the last like two or three orders that, you know, what that max is, they're going to use it. So if it's eight days, they're going to wait till like the last day to ship it. It's probably just because they're busy and. You know they're going to want to fulfill most orders and they save on shipping so this is your basic prop property setup um, I'm not going to take the palm off this one does not come off at the emitter it only separates at the pommel you can take the palm off which all that does is expose the the speaker 24 millimeter and your core okay you get your typical Sabre Studio battery some of them are white some of them are gray some of them are black um, some of them are button top I've gotten a couple where they were the flat top um, so and sometimes they're not interchangeable like if you could use a flat top uh, some of these the way they're t the way the chassis is the the prongs are tighter and you know you won't be able to use the button top on one or you could probably do it with a little fiddling around, but um, anyway. So this is your, your typical proppy core. Now they're using this little tab here to protect the board. Um, just from contact with the metal. Um, pe people go, well, how can I hit the little buttons, you know, the two little gold buttons to reset. Um or not reset but to flash the board you shouldn't have to do the, do that but anyway I'm, I'm gonna go through all that in another video but anyway so there's just the typical setup 24 millimeter speaker it's what they use on pretty much all their savers all their setups so that's the one I ordered it's got seven pin neopixel PCB inside um, does it? It's not LED. They're not using those yet. So that's another step. I wish they would take using the built-in LED PCBs. That way, it could light up without a blade, and you could put regular blade plugs in there. Um, came with a 36-inch blade. Their blades are a little something to get used to because they're they're like heavy grade. Um, I don't know if it's just because they back up their claim for dueling and all that but I wouldn't duel with Neopixels anyway I mean you probably do light light sparring and stuff 
but they're kind of heavy. I mean, they are. So they take a little getting used to. But so that's the one that I purchased, all ready to go. Like I said, just under a little under two hundred dollars. So it's a really good deal. It's not a. I mean, it probably weighs about a pound, maybe a little less. It's not a heavy, heavy, heavy hilt. Um, it might be like thirteen ounces or something. I haven't weighed it, but I'm just just from feel. But it does come with a coupler. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you something else. This is the one that I ordered a while back as an empty. It's completely empty. This blade is from the pack store. It's their 36 inch. A lot lighter blade. You hear that little shake? I've heard that as a typical thing from the pack store. I haven't ordered from them recently, so they might have rectified that, but the way they diffuse it, um, it does rattle a little. Not so bad when you're swinging it. You don't, you know, just when you're jiggling it like that, you can hear it, but it's a lot lighter. It's definitely probably half the weight of the LGT, which I do like the weight of this one. Um, LGD takes getting used to but anyway this is the empty hilt that I ordered just like the other one I got it in the gunmetal and I'm gonna be careful because I built this one from you know I bought empty chassis and got my own wire because the other one uses the silicone like they use in LGT this one I used um, reinforced like PTFE wire And that's wired differently, but it doesn't have the tab on it. And I wired that one. It just works better. I mean, I got to re glue it because I was messing with it, but I got to re glue it. I'm going to do something different with that. I'm going to wrap it with uh, tape. Um, so, that's basically the same setup. I just did all the wiring myself. From from get go, and I wired the the switch. So I'm sure it's going to be better when you do it yourself. If you can learn how to do it, you can do it yourself. You can use better wiring, and you know it's a little better. So that's that. But here's the cool key. This one also came with the coupler. I'm going to undo that. Man, I made that one tight. So I'm undoing a couple on the other ones. That one's kind of tight. So I'm taking a couple or all of the new one. So this one has the. This is the one that I built. I don't know why it's so tight. I didn't remember tightening that much. So anyway, but anyway, I took the coupler, the pommel off the new one. And it threads right in. And you could actually use this coupler for other savers. Um, just different colors. So. But anyway. So. And they don't exactly line up. Let's see if I can get this. They're close. It's really, really close but they're not exactly aligned and that's why if you all ever gotten those little metal real thin rings with your sabers from LGT that's what they're for you can slide one at a time onto the part where you screw the the handles together the hilts together and uh, try one you know and you can keep sliding more on until it gets to a lines up so I'm gonna put this blade the LGT blade in the new one now this the purpose I got this for was for staff I've checked the sound font what they're on. 
I'm Cal Kestis. For the general, to me. You never fought anyone like me. The dark spectrum. Defiance. Hello there. I'll show you. Let go. You have to get rid of. The dark sword. Ascension. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on that one. That's the new one. They, they got some different new fonts on there. My other one's set up with a different config of fonts, but I know I have the Darth Vader and uh, the Empire Strikes Back one, so I'm gonna find that one. This should be the same one. See the blue that they picked for both is slightly different. This is more of the white blue. Can't really do this in here, but. <laughs> I'm gonna take it outside when I do my next video. I just want to say. I just wanted a staff. It's really long, two thirty six inch blades. I need shorter blades. Try and do a color change. The, the new one has a different color feature, or it actually has an audible. Let's see if I can get that to work. Color wheel activated. So it's color wheel activated. There we go. Try and get it. Let's see. Selected. No, it's not the color I wanted. Try this again. Really not the room to be doing this in, but I want to get some like maybe 32, well 30 inch, cut, cut my own down, that'll be better, but it's really good for outside, but just to give you an idea. The old, I have the older style in the one I built, it doesn't do the audible, just beeps. That's your inner no, that's your confirmation on the order profi. The newer one. Color wheel activated. Color selected. So they they really upgraded their, their board features as far as the config that they're using they've added some audibles for the batteries a little different now it tells you you know uh, battery reaching critical levels um,
But basically, I wanted to show you guys that I'm still alive. Just been doing a lot around the house, a lot of stuff with my work, my job, and uh, just wanted to show you guys that. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can do some stuff with LGT uh, sabers. They're pretty interchangeable. You can see it's really close. It's it's definitely off. Not much. Um, but so for like two hundred bucks piece if you want to get two of these by all means you know 400 bucks you have a staff not bad and uh, what I'm getting ready to work on now I have all the stuff that I bought through uh, links that pals power ups on um, Mark on uh, Facebook uh, groups, Universal Lightsaber Group. Um, I bought this empty, or not empty. It, it came with the blades and everything, but it didn't really work. Some problems with it, which I don't care. I'm going to gut it anyway. But um, I got all the stuff except for the LEDs to make the to reinstall the blades. I got all the stuff to convert this to Profi Neopixel, and that's a project I'm going to undertake soon, and um, I'm probably going to put segments of the video of that going on. Uh, hopefully it won't be too much longer, but I've just been really busy, and it's got all the old crap in it, you know, but it's got everything, it came with everything, the stand, the blades, so... I'm going to be converting these little bad boys to, I'm going to drill all this out and it's going to look like the other blade that I showed you earlier for the regular new pixel. It's going to have, I'm going to redo, I'm going to keep the blades, just redo the insides with new Neo, NeoPixel LEDs, um, new LED strips. These aren't capable of the same stuff that the, the newer stuff is capable of, so uh, I'm going to reinstall these and the main blade with new LEDs. Redo all new wiring. I got chassis and, and stuff from Pals Power Ups. Um, he uh, custom made a chassis for this. Uh, so I'm going to do all that. I used his tutorial videos. I'll put links to everything when I go to put video of, this, of me doing this on here. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. But, uh, it's going to turn out with, I'm missing the freaking blade ring. It's the only thing. I got this for like... I think it was like 50, 60 something bucks with the shipping <coughs> from eBay, excuse me. And it was missing the collar ring that slides over the blade and, and screws down. So if anybody, leave a, leave a message in the, in the comments. I'll buy one, you know, of someone if they have a spare or something. But I don't think it's completely necessary. Pals Power Up said it's necessary, but I know the blade locks in, so. <coughs> excuse me again, sorry. Jeez, got a little tickle. Anyway. Uh, this is going to be a cool uh, venture to convert. So, I want to show you guys that. A couple things I got in the running. Uh, that. Um, I got this kind of beat up um, bastion from Albert Flores, which was, that was a good deal. I'm just going to, I tried drilling out some stuff to make the LGT stuff work with it. Excuse me. But anyway, a few projects. Um, I took uh, my Revan LGT and my the one I call Iron Fist. It kind of made a long. Cause it's nice how all their stuff fits together. So I made like a long. I was just screwing around. I'm gonna install that. So it's more of a longer, kind of like a pike. Not quite a pike, but. It's just a longer version, really, really big, you know, kind of do some really cool stuff with it, but <clears throat> just want to let you all know that I'm still alive, I've just been really busy, and so check it out, you know, go get yourself a couple of these, go to Tyler uh, Babcock for Vire Sabers, go to the Dark Wolf Sabers, get a couple of the main ones, um, I think Tyler Babcock sells these couplers separately so if you want to just get two different sabers 
that don't come with a coupler. You could buy the coupler from him um, and just put the two together. So. Not bad. I think it's cool. Alright guys, well, you all have a good one.